At this time last year, South Florida had catapulted from out of the top 25 to top five in the nation. This year, though, slowly but surely, they're back in the top 10. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the College Football Previews presented by AT&T. It's a Thursday nighter, South Florida hosting Pittsburgh as we welcome in Spencer Tillman from CBS Sports from Houston as we do every single week and Spence when you take a look at South Florida a team that this year has not gotten as much credit as maybe last year at this time can they get to the top two if they go undefeated just by beating a biggie schedule. I think they possibly can. Again, I think everyone is kind of holding out to see if they repeat what they did last year. Remember, they got on the precipice of doing something special, and then they lost a ton of games to close out the season. So I think everyone's kind of holding their breath just a little bit to see if South Florida is for real. I will say this. The encouraging thing about watching them last week, without George Selby on defense and another one of their starting nose tackles without of the contest as well, they put up a pretty strong defensive performance against a team that wants to establish the run game first. So I, I'm encouraged, and if you're a South Florida fan, you you should be that they're able to have such a stiff defense despite three of their starters being out. Uh, they were very good last week, but has their body of work heading into the Big East season been enough? Hosting Kansas and winning a road win at Central Florida and that road win last week at NC State, has that been enough and can that carry over? Well, I think it can carry over. The, the key is, again, Jason, we've seen this as a running theme throughout the course of this year, and, and it's trite to say it now because it, the message and the memos got out. The college football world is flat. Everyone knows that the coaching challenge for some of those teams, like South Florida, who are trying to make a difference, it's, it's not about the everyday grind. It's about the psychological aspect of the game that the coaches have to be able to touch. And I think that's what Jim Levis's challenge is right now. His team has demonstrated they can be successful for half a year, but they've got to take the next step emotionally to prepare themselves to compete. Physically, they're able to do it. But do they bring the mindset that's necessary to compete? So in short, to answer your question, yes, they can do it. But it remains to be seen if they will. Well, one of those guys that certainly helps Jim Levitt carry the emotional balance of this team is Matt Grothy, a quarterback. When you yeah. look at him, what do you see and, and put him up against Pittsburgh? Well, I think that Mac, Mac is an excellent quarterback. Uh, he obviously can hurt you with his legs. He showed us a couple of weeks ago that he's still got that savvy that really defined their first half of last year. And he obviously can hurt you with the pass. He's got a couple of receivers he can throw to. But I think one of the things we saw last week in him is that he was inefficient at times and was careless with the ball on a couple of occasions. And so some of that efficiency took a little bit of a hit before he got back on track. But there's no question he's a game changer. I mean, he's not – and maybe he's kind of like a Chase Daniel light, you know, uh, probably <laughs> <laughs> closer than probably what most people think, but he's an outstanding quarterback to be sure. Spence, uh, let's flip it to Pittsburgh here, and I think a lot of the nation has forgotten the fact that the Panthers were in the top 25 to start the season. They went out mm -hmm. in week one and lost to Bowling Green, but they followed it up with three straight wins, including a uh, one-point victory at home against Iowa. Now, we know this team can run the football, but can they run it against South Florida? Well, it's going to be tough, and that's going to be the challenge. You, you know Pittsburgh's success of late has come when they got LaShawn McCoy running the ball. Last year, freshman sensation finally eclipsed the 100-yard mark last week. And again, if they can get him going against one of the stiffer defenses in all of college football, I think they're ranked like fourth or somewhere against the run uh, defensively, uh, fourth or fifth. And South Florida will be a tough challenge for them. But I think Pittsburgh is up to it. They can't, however, get into one of those situations like they were earlier in the year trying to establish the pass first. That's not their M.O. That's not what they do. So if they can get a modicum of success on the ground with LaShawn McCoy, I think they're going to have a pretty good day. Spence, this game's a Thursday night game, and there has been a lot of talk lately, especially after USC last week, the, the Thursday night jinx. Teams can't go yeah. on the road and win, but South Florida's playing this game at home, so they're going to win then, right? Well, I don't know if they will. I mean, again, you look at last week and then a couple of weeks before, home cooking hadn't necessarily guaranteed victories for a lot of teams. And so that, that's been kind of a running theme so far this year. Of course, uh, USC being, being the biggest one actually went on the road, but that was a place where they had been before, knew the lay of the land. Uh, Oregon State had beaten them before, but they still didn't have the mindset to go and compete. So that takes us back to what do you have to do, home or away, to come away with the win against a team that you probably should beat. I think it comes back down to the mental preparation and I think that South Florida is in a situation now where they can come away with a win here uh, on the road at, in South Florida. So I, I, think th I just think that they're going to be strong. They don't lose these home games in national TV on Spotlight. Last year at home against West Virginia, this year at home against Kansas. Spencer Tillman, thank you very much, yeah. sir. Talk to you soon. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy.
And don't forget, folks, every Saturday on CBSSports.com, it is SEC Live presented by AT&T. Every game that you see on CBS, you'll see on CBSSports.com. This week, it's Kentucky, undefeated but untested at Alabama, certainly tested at number two in the nation. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.